Are you wondering how to make YouTube videos without showing your face? Yes, it is possible, and yes, it can work on YouTube. In this video, we'll show you how to do it and the best faceless video ideas that you can use to easily create new videos without appearing on camera. Okay, so this is a topic that we get asked about quite a lot. And while there are definitely benefits of appearing on camera, it's certainly not a requirement. And there's plenty of examples of successful faceless YouTubers who use a lot of the ideas that we're covering off in this video. So whether you're camera shy or you're just looking for ways to streamline your video creation, this video has everything you'll need. Now with all of the options we're gonna cover, you're not just limited to just one in any video. You can easily incorporate a mix of a few or all of these into your videos to keep your viewers engaged. So I definitely suggest sticking around to the end so that you know what tools you have available. So option number one is to capture and record B-roll footage and to use that as your primary video footage. In a video like this one that you're watching here now, where I am talking to camera, that's typically known as your A-roll, your primary footage. And your B-roll will be any additional footage to help your viewer understand or to follow along with the video. So you don't need to be in your video, you don't need to be presenting or speaking in your video. You can literally just demonstrate what it is you're doing. Demonstrate a process, show how something is done, make something. So it could be that you're still filming your entire body. It could be that you're filming your hands making something or doing something. But essentially here, you're filming a process without needing to present or talk to camera. Option number two is to create a screen recording. You can easily record your computer screen or your phone screen, your iPad or tablet screen, and use that to create an engaging video. So this one, again, is gonna be great for creating a tutorial or talking through a process, literally showing where you're clicking or tapping on your device so that your viewers can follow along. This method is also great for creating gaming videos as well. Literally anything where you can show your phone screen or your computer screen that your viewer can follow along with or be entertained by. Now, in terms of how you create videos like this, how you screen record your Mac, your PC, your iPhone, or your Android device. We've got videos linked down in the description that will help you with all of those. Option number three is to use stock footage. You don't need to go and film everything yourself. There are amazing services out there that offer libraries of content that you can download and use to create videos with. Now there's lots of different stock footage archives out there. Some of them free, some of them paid, some of them worth your time, and others you'll wanna stay well clear of. Now we've done a full breakdown on these and share our top recommendations in a video that I will link up in the cards now and in the description as well. But my top two recommendations right now are Storyblocks and Artgrid, and that's where we go for any stock footage for all of our videos. So option number four is to use slide presentations. Think PowerPoint or keynote presentations, but to use them as an actual video as well. Now in terms of creating videos from your PowerPoint or keynote presentations, both PowerPoint and keynote do have the ability to record your presentations and let you save out a movie file with them. So it could be that you're creating an entire video just just using those programs, or you could save those videos out from those applications and then put it into your editing software to add extra graphic elements, titles, and those sorts of things to create a more engaging video. But the best way I found to really level up your slide presentations is to use templates for your slides from places like Envato. They've got some great templates in there, and some of them have some really cool animations and things as well, all again to help you create a much more effective video or presentation. So you don't need to start from scratch or just use the built-in templates that everybody uses. There are some amazing ones that you can download, install, customize up, and really create something amazing quick and easily, starting with a template from a service like Envato. Option number five is to use text on screen. So this could be, depending on the video, that you might have every single word, word for word, written out as text on screen to match up with a voiceover or a narration that you've got. Or it could be just to bring up key points that you're covering off in your video. So this doesn't mean that you need to have a voiceover or a narration. There are some really effective videos that's literally just music and text written on screen. Now in terms of creating these, you could manually type everything out word by word, and you could do that if it's a relatively short video. For longer videos where there's a lot of text, I definitely recommend using some sort of auto transcribing service like Rev. They've got an awesome AI option, which is cheap, or they've also got a human option where an actual human is gonna go through and type out your voiceover or your narration for you and give you back a text document the human way is definitely more accurate. But once you've got that transcript of your voiceover or your narration back, then you can easily add that text into your editing software either by manually copying and pasting the text or a lot of video editing software now will let you import a subtitle file, which Rev will give you. 
Now, in terms of other ways that you can do this, there's other desktop applications like Descript and Kapwing. Both of these will automatically transcribe or type out your text for you. And they'll also help you customize up your titles and text and change the look and feel of them and save out a video all in the one app. Another great option for creating this type of video is to use title templates. So you can customize up and use animations and things to really create professional looking titles. So this is another one where Video Hive from Envato really stands out with templates so you can download, customize up and use in your videos or also place it. Place it will actually let you use all of their templates and customize them up there live on the screen so that you can either download a complete video from Placeit or you can download it and still use it in your editing application or software as well. No matter which way you go creating videos where you do have text on the screen, this is a perfect example of where it doesn't just need to be text on screen. You might move the text over to the side to help emphasize any key points or to show other things on screen at the same time. Number six is to use animations. So it could be that you're creating a video where you've got those whiteboard drawing style animations, or you might even have animated characters like a cartoon. And these videos are actually surprisingly much easier than you think to create. There's great services like Doodly and Animaker that make both of those types of videos really, really easy for you to create. Or you can always find an animator on places like Fiverr and Upwork and commission them to do the work for you relatively cheaply. And again, there's some really big channels out there and the videos that they're creating are just animations. Option number seven is to use animated photos and graphics. So these days in most video editing software and apps, it's really easy to drop in all of your photos or your graphics to apply some simple effects to add the Ken Burns effect or a slow zoom in or a slow pan to then easily add some transitions between the different graphics so that they flow smoothly and that they create more engagement. But there's also some really cool apps and tools out there right now to help you take this to the next level. Like CapCut, for instance, it's got this amazing 3D photo effect that you can literally drag and drop onto your clips and it will create a 3D motion effect from your photos. So this type of effect used to take a long time to go and build out in software like Adobe After Effects. So it's so awesome that you've now literally got a drag and drop effect in CapCut, but also in other video editing apps and tools as well to help you do this really, really quickly. Now, I've also recently released a full tutorial on how to use CapCut and I'll link that one up in the card as well. And the other way that you can create some really amazing videos just from your photos or graphics is again to use templates from Video Hive and place it. And I promise this is not a sponsored video. They have no idea we're making this. I'm definitely a big fan. But again, there's a ton of awesome templates that you can download. You can customize up with your own photos, your own graphics, your own video files, and it's gonna tie them all together and it's gonna make them look awesome. And again, if you're not using more professional video editing software, then that's where Placeit will let you customize all of that up, upload your own photos and graphics and videos all to their website and build out your template and your video just on their website. Now both Video Hive and Placeit have templates that start under $10, but they've also both got subscription options as well. So that's seven different ways that you can create videos all without being in them. Now while all of these options are great and can get you awesome results, one thing to note, is that showing your face on camera does help you build a rapport and a relationship with your viewers much more effectively. As you grow, I would definitely encourage you to explore different ways to see if this is an option for you, especially if being camera shy is the main reason that you're choosing not to appear on camera. I felt the same way when I first started out and honestly, it does get much easier over time. So now that you know how to create amazing videos without being in them, linked on screen is a video where we take a deep dive into the best options for finding stock videos video footage to use in your videos. We cover off on free options and paid options and the subscription options as well. So definitely check out that video and I will see you in the next one.